you come and tell me, listen, when we open the bag, we see a lot, let's say, I see a lot of problems. I come in and bring my ruler and figure out how many of those in the bag. If I see 10 of those, yes, there's a problem. We report it to the factory, okay? You're not supposed to see more than one or two packs per bag, okay? You might not see any. But if you come and tell me, listen, I see a lot of this. I measure it and I say, okay, we have many of those? 10. It's fine. It's within specification. But if I, bet, I open the bag and I see 20, 30 of those, then there's a problem. Okay? You're not supposed to have more than the specification that we allow. Okay? So when you call us and we come in and we look at the bag, right, we measure it and we say, is it light, dark, major, critical? Okay? The percentage is correct, it's okay. If we see it above, there's a problem. Again, this you have nothing to do with it. It's for us to measure and figure out what the percentage is in the bag. Length, we talked about receiving, storage, all the procedure that involve what affects the length. We talked about texture. Oil temperature, starch, how long you cook it, recovery, all that affects the texture. Defect, I explained to you, what do you see at the end of the crop, the percentages of mistakes you're allowed, okay? That you have nothing to do, but it's for us to monitor. And if you see something like this, it's okay, okay? But the problem is where? It's with the customer. When they see a black spot, they don't understand, okay? They don't want to hear, it's skin, it's not skin, crop, end of crop. You're not gonna tell this to the customer, right? Because he'll probably kill you, okay? <coughs> this is knowledge for you. Now, how do we ideal with the customer, okay? Do you start arguing with him? This is defect, this is unnatural, this is skin. Do you do that? <coughs> no. Right? No. He's always right. What is the best thing to do to avoid the customer? Absolutely, remove it. When you cook it, always teach your people, you're not gonna see a lot, maybe one or two or three pieces. Don't serve it, okay? When you cook it, if you see a black spot, just remove it, okay? And then serve. I see people, oh, they serve it. What is this? Okay, okay, I will return it for you. I will give you a new one. You wasted the whole portion where you could have just taken the piece. Okay? Guys, you're allowed. You're not going to have 100% no black pieces. It's a natural thing. You get a C, it's within specification. But the best way to do it is just remove it before you serve it to the customer before you start getting into an argument with him, okay? Because he's not gonna understand. He's gonna think it's disease, it's, you know, he's gonna make big story about it, okay? So always the best thing to do is just remove it, okay? Does everybody do that? That's the easiest way. Okay, so defects we talked about. Now we're gonna talk about color. What impacts color? If you change the oil, and if you get a new clean oil, fresh, will it give you the color? The first time you fry one or two, it's not going to give you the color. It's going to be slightly off, okay? As I said, after 10, 5, 6, 15, you're going to get the perfect color, okay? Always fresh oil might not give you the color that you need. Oil temperature is too low. When do you caramelize sugar? When it reaches to a certain temperature. If the temperature is very low, it's not going to give you the caramelization, okay? It's not going to give you the color. Fry recovery is too low. It's not heating up. Frying time is too short. You're not cooking it for 2 and 45 minutes. You're cooking it for 2 minutes. And we're going to see that down in the restaurant, okay? What else? Effects color. Oil temperature.
temperature is too high, okay, that will burn the french fries. Oil is dirty, right? We talked about it. Frying time is too long. You could be for four minutes, five minutes, you're caramelizing it too much. It's gonna affect the color. Underfilled basket, and if the temperature is high and you're not cooking, you cook a small batch in a very hot fryer, you will change that. What else? Overfilled basket. Sometimes people, they have a rush. They fill the basket. Sometimes the oil is here, and you're filling the basket, the french fries is not covering. The oil is not covering the fries, covering barely three eighths of it. And one is sitting barely touching the fries. The color will caramelize perfect on the bottom, but the top they're not. Okay? What else affect color? If you are over mixing two batches, you're not using first in, first out. That will give you color variation, okay? Oil level is too low. Sometimes if the oil is very low, it's not covering the potato, and it's not gonna give you the color that you're looking for, okay? Now, our oil, can be fried, um, and our french fries can be fried in any oil, except one oil. What is it? <laughs> it performs in all different oils, except one oil. <laughs> what? <laughs> Palm oil? <laughs> we'll keep it next, on the flavor. What's going to happen? So we talked about link, we talked about texture, <laughs> We talked about defects, what affects color, okay? Now we're going to talk about flavor. This is the last. Now, what affects flavor? What impacts or affects flavor? We said that before. What is it, guys? Dirty oil? The oil itself, right? What else? Over. over temperature. If you overcook it, it becomes crispy, but the potato is gone. Flavor is impacted. Okay, what else? Sugar, Sugar. right? Starch, <coughs> right? Salt, okay? As I said, oil affects the flavor of the potato. If you use cheap oil, it's gonna give you cheap flavor. If you over, uh, if you fry potato in other fat, fish, chicken, transfer, right? Flavor, <coughs> flavor transfer, that also impacts the flavor. <coughs> As I said, you can cook the potato in any oil, it would perform perfect, okay? Except one oil, which is? Big <laughs> Car oil. <laughs> Car oil is the only thing you're not supposed to use it for. Anything else? Okay. That will affect the flavor. Okay. That will affect the flavor. You will give it for W30. It's going to be different to the W10. Okay? Use oil. So let's look at flavor. Dirty oil, we talked about it, right? Fry operation, oil temperature is too high. If the temperature is high, that will affect the flavor. Fry time is too long, okay? Flavor transfer from fryer to fryer with a few chicken fish, okay? Also, and we've seen this, when you open the chest freezer, you have the french fries, the bag is not closed, it's always open, okay? Also you have chicken, it's open. Apple pie, it's open. Everything is open. What do you think is gonna happen to the fries? It's gonna absorb the flavor of everything in that freezer, there's odor, okay? That's gonna absorb, that's gonna spoil the french fries. And when you cook it, you're gonna 
have that flavor or the taste of the mix of all these products in there. Okay, we notice this. And that's supposed to be closed. The french fry bag is supposed to be closed. The chicken has to be closed. If you don't, you're gonna have a transfer of flavors, okay? Also, we talked about salting. Salting the fries gives it that flavor. If you don't salt it, it's gonna have completely different flavor, okay? Salting is very important, and the dose that you're putting in, it has to be perfect. Not over, not under, okay? Guys, we talked about all the procedure that you're supposed to do to get a proper french fries. Perfy spends a lot of money to bring a very good french fries. If we don't follow these procedures, you will not get a good french fries. You're not going to get that yield, the volume that you're supposed to get. Okay? And you will lose money. Cooking procedure is very important. Yield, all this is very important. What we're going to do, I'm almost done, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick picture of the whole team here, okay? After we finish, we're gonna go to the unit, okay? To the restaurant. Which one? The 110. 110. Okay, 110, huh? Okay, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna demonstrate. We're gonna see the freezer. We're gonna cook some french fries at 145. We're gonna cook it at four. We're gonna taste. We're gonna see inside the fries, okay? We're gonna show you all the stuff we talked about to understand how to handle the fries, okay? And what impacts the fries, okay? Any questions before we break for a photo? Anybody have any questions?